Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This general problem says that a rocket is launched straight up with constant acceleration. They say that four seconds after liftoff, a bolt falls off the side of the rocket and then it hits the ground six seconds later. And so we need to figure out from just that, what was the rocket's acceleration? This problem is funny because it seems looking at it like it shouldn't be that hard but it's actually pretty tricky if you kind of don't know how to approach it. So let's work it step by step. If we draw a picture, we know that the rocket is launching up into space here, right? So here's our rocket. And then they say that a bolt drops off after four seconds. So for the rocket, we only care about the rocket at time of four seconds. So the step number one, is we need to figure out at four seconds, what was for the rocket, its height and what was its speed. The reason we care about the height and the speed at four seconds is because at that time, the bolt is just barely fallen off, right? So it will be going at the same speed that the rocket was at four seconds, and it will be at the exact same height that the rocket is at four seconds. So those two will turn into our initial values for when we start to look at the bolt. So for the rocket's height, the equation that we'll be using is y final is equal to y initial plus the initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. The initial y is it's leaving from the ground, so that's zero. The initial velocity leaving from the ground is also zero. So that leaves us with y final is equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. What time are we gonna use? Obviously the four seconds. So what we're going to do is we're actually gonna plug in the time here. So y final is equal to one half acceleration at times four squared, which is equal to one half the acceleration of 16. If we simplify that further, one half times 16 is eight. So we have eight times the acceleration of the rocket. Now we're going to do a similar thing to figure out what the speed of the rocket is. The equation that we'll be using to find the speed of the rocket is V final, is equal to V initial plus acceleration times time. The initial velocity as we already discussed is zero. So V final is equal to the acceleration times the time. Again, the time is four. So V final is equal to the acceleration of the rocket times four. So now here at this transition, this is the tricky spot. The equation that we're going to be using for the bolt, let's say bolt right there. And remember the bolt now we're looking at a time of six seconds. That's really important. So the Y final for the bolt is equal to the Y initial plus the initial velocity times the time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. But if you remember what we talked about is that the Y final for the rocket at the four seconds is going to turn into the initial y for the bolt. And then the final velocity for the rocket is going to turn into the initial velocity for the bolt. So now we'll plug in this right here for initial velocity, and we'll plug this in for the bolt. So here is our Y final for the rocket and our V final for the rocket. So now we have the Y final is equal to this right here for the Y initial for the bolt, which we said is eight times the acceleration of the rocket plus the initial velocity for the rocket that we found, which is four times the acceleration of the rocket times the time for the bolt, which we said is six seconds plus one half the acceleration, which the bolt is now in free fall, so it's only gravity and will have a negative 9.8 meters per second squared, times the time for the bolt, again, the six seconds squared. We're breaking the mold of what I typically like to do for problems by plugging in values before we have totally simplified the equation. In this case, it does actually help. So let's figure out what the number is for this section right here. 
So we have 0.5 times a negative 9.8 times 6 squared. So we have a negative 176.4 for all of this. So the y final for the bolt will also be 0. So 0 is equal to 8 times the acceleration of the rocket. 4 times 6 is 24 times the acceleration of the rocket plus a negative 176.4. And here we have meters over seconds squared times seconds squared, so this will just be meters. And now we have two variables with the same unit, so we can simplify this more. So zero is equal to 32 times the acceleration of the rocket minus 176.4 meters. And now the units, I haven't drawn it up to this point because I don't want it to confuse you, but the units from the equations that we did for the rocket up above is going to be seconds squared right here and right here. When we move 176.4 over, now we'll have 176.4 meters is equal to 32 seconds squared times the acceleration of the rocket. Now when we divide both sides of the equation by 32 seconds squared, that will simplify. 32 seconds squared. Now we have meters per second squared, which is the units that we need for acceleration. So 176.4, well that's times that by negative one because we need it positive. And then we'll divide that by 32. So the acceleration of the rocket will be 5.5 rounded meters per second squared.